What's up everyone? This is Nick and welcome back for another video. Today I wanted to do a, a long overdue video on the build out of my my first original ProMaster van, the Big Rig Randy 1. So it's been done now for almost two years and I lived in it for one year essentially and I have since sold it but I never put out the videos that I wanted to put out on that van and how it turned out so I thought I would go through a little walkthrough on some of the footage that I have from the van and just kind of show what I did on that first build and then maybe lead into the new build that I'm working on now with some of those videos so you can kind of compare what I did before and see what I'm doing now and kind of see the changes that, that I've added and maybe get some ideas and inspiration for your own van if you're doing a build or if you plan to do one in the future. So I just wanna walk through the kind of the full tour, I guess, like people do on YouTube and show you what I did and why I did it and explain everything and how it worked out after about a year of living in the van and fully um, traveling the country in it for for a significant amount of time. So I'll pull up the clips that I have and we can go through those and roll the footage. <laughs> All right, without further ado, let's get into the, the van tour. So the van is a 2017 ProMaster low roof. So it's not the high roof, it's got two solar panels, 200 watts on the roof and two fans on the roof as well. I really liked having the front and rear fan, so you have one for cooking and then one more for for when you're sleeping or just when you want to have really good ventilation. So starting with the back area, I kind of had just one main storage shelf there, which I had some boxes of all my gear that I would slide in there as well as one large box in the lower area. And then I would put my bikes and my snowboards and, and longer stuff on the left side. So I was able to either fit two bikes, a mountain bike and a road bike, or about three or four snowboards and one bike. So now that it's empty, you can see all the space, but it is, it is more um, roomy back there than it looks in the video. Coming into the trunk, you'll see I have my solar charge controller mounted in the back here. This is just so it's easy to uh, go back there and look at it if you ever need to. I really never had any problems with my solar system, luckily, so um, I would just check the charge occasionally to make sure everything was, was working properly, which it always was, and that was about it with that. And then I had my batteries in the back there and all of my wiring hooked up in the back under the bed where you could access the the panel to change a fuse if you needed to and do any repairs. So above that, above the garage, we have the bed area which kind of has the fan and then a few lights kind of positioned above the bed as well as a TV and everything else you would want to be comfy back there on, on top of the bed. Moving on to the interior space of the van, you can see I have lights all the way through on the ceiling. Those are just simple LED puck lights, as well as those same lights behind the sink, kind of under that under that little cabinet shelf thingy there. You will see the ceiling. It's just wood paneling with insulation behind it, like uh, most people do in their vans but it's been super nice to have that extra insulation behind the ceiling and all of the walls just to keep me really warm when I'm out snowboarding and traveling in the winter, which is something that I do a lot of. So I would definitely have insulation um, installed behind all of your walls if you do plan to do any traveling in cold temperatures. It's even nice in warm temperatures too, just since it works the opposite way. It keeps it kind of like a... I guess you would compare it to like a little refrigerator in there that when you get it cold, it'll stay cold longer. And when you get it warm, it'll stay warm longer. So it's it's just really um, efficient for, for keeping your space heated and cooled to have that added insulation. And then as we come into the van, you'll see I have a little fridge. It's actually a truck fridge is the brand. And it's just a 12 volt fridge. It's super efficient though, so it is going to be a, a, a bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it for what you get. It's super quiet and also doesn't drain your batteries much at all, even if you're running it 
all night 24 7 like i was doing it's uh super handy and super good to to have a nice fridge in my opinion just since that's going to be your main food storage and something really important to have um, a higher quality item i've also got these cabinets just kind of built out of wood and they have the little just the little simple um, latches that that you can open and close i like doing it that way just send some of the other ideas that people do seem a little more finicky, a little more difficult to work with. So just kept it simple with those and it always worked super well. I have my sink set up with an electric pump. That little green button there is your on off switch for the pump. So you just flip that and then you've got your running water. Well, we're going through this tour. If you want to go look at some of the adventures I went on in this van, follow me on Instagram at corporate grind. That's corporate dot grind. And I have a bunch of pictures posted on there of my new van and my old van. You can go look through all the all the trips that I went on and maybe get a little more in depth view of my lifestyle and how how my van life um, worked out in the in the low roof pro master that we're touring right now so let's get back into the tour but i just wanted to mention that if you want to know more moving on from that empty tour here's kind of the look that it had when i had all of my stuff in the van so i just set it up really nice instagram style um, just to take a quick little video here and show you guys kind of what it looks like to actually be living in it so you'll see I have obviously all my stuff in there. I've got my table in there. And then I have a just a little extra bench seat or a little box seat there that you can use if I have guests over. Also adds a little storage for my camera equipment. Yeah, you'll see with my table, it swivels. So that was kind of a nice feature to have just when you're cooking or whatever, you can get it out of your way a little bit. And then you can swivel it back for eating or if you want to dine with a second person, it's nice to have that ability. I've got the curtain up front just to block out any light. It pretty much blocks out everything so no one knows you're in there if you're if you're parking in kind of a more populated area at night. And then my fridge, I've got it somewhat full of food here. It does fit a good amount of food so that was nice. I can get most of the groceries that I would normally get and then store those all all in there. And I've got different hooks placed around the van. You'll see I've got one just there next to the bed, hang my headphones or my hat or whatever. Then I've got some more over here and some more in the back of the van too. So it's always good just to have hooks in your van. I feel like you just always need to hang different stuff, whether it's your coats, it's your hats, different things. It's nice just to kind of have those extra areas to, to put stuff when you come into the van and have it just um, secured there while you're driving got my bed all made and it's super comfy in there i love sleeping in this van but it's nice to put a little artwork in your van too so you'll see what i did i just put a picture of the mountains i love the mountains so it kind of gives you that inspiration when you wake up to go out and explore and enjoy the day so that's the tour of my first van i hope you enjoyed walking through everything and seeing how i built it and how everything worked for me if you want to follow along with my new build, stay tuned by subscribing to this channel down below. Give this video a like too while you're at it. And then I will post some more videos on the progress of that as well as some of the awesome trips that I've got planned out to, uh, to go on in that van. So stay tuned for more van content and we'll get, get you guys those videos super soon on my channel. This is Nick. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.